Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to deploy Arista VEOS and EVNG. Download the image from the Arista website. You can create a user credential and it is free. Once uh, you create the credential, then you will be uh, able to download this image from the Arista website. Uh, you don't need to uh, buy anything. You just simply create a user account. Then you will be able to uh, download the new software. So here you can see I already logged in with my user credential already. And you click here VEOS. Then download these uh, two images you have to download. One is the ISO file. So I downloaded this 8.0.0 uh, and 8.0.1, both ISO files. But I'm going to use either one of this. Uh, for the implementation, then I am using the latest one 4.29. Then download this Q VMDK image. In case if you want to uh, download QCow2, you can do, but I for a demonstration purpose that I downloaded the VMDK image already in my laptop. Once downloaded, then next step is to upload the uh, image to your uh, uh, EVNG using FileZilla or WinSFP or any other FTP software. I have already done that. I already uploaded these two images. Uh, after downloading once it is downloaded then we are going to follow the steps we will convert this vmdk to qq2 uh, in case if you don't want to do this step you can skip you can skip this and you can download this uh, directly the qq2 image from the arista website what i'm going to do i'm going to follow the steps given in the slide This is the command. This utility is already built in, in EVNG, so you don't need to install anything new for this converting. Once it is converted, then as usual that we create a new directory for the image to push for this in this folder. So we are going to copy the or you can move the uh, image to this folder now. So we have done that. What we are going to do, we are going to move this let me give this the file what i'm going to do i'm going to move this file to this path it is moved then what we are going to do we are also going to move this file from here to this path this is the uh, this format are like evng format so we have to use this format only uh, when naming the uh, images so you have to change the name from here to here even it is in the same format yes we have moved it now let me quickly verify yes you can see that we have both the images then we have to after this we have to uh, give permission to the image that we have moved to this folder If any fix permissions, yeah, let me quickly remove the unwanted files so that I'll have some space for doing the next video. This eve, yes, so yes, I removed everything now. Clean up, okay. The next is I'm going to log into you. Using GUI. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new file, a new lab file. So, yes, right click, add the node, type Arista. Yes, you'll get that now. For this, you need 2 GB of RAM and 1 CPU and 4 Ethernet. In case if you want to increase, you can increase the RAM and CPU accordingly. So then click on save. Right click and start. Then wait for a few minutes. It will take two, three, two, two to three minutes approximate. Sometimes it depends on the load. It varies if you are running like huge number of routers, then it may take some time. So wait for it. let's wait for it boot. Then we'll be able to log in. As you can see, the router is up now. The default username is admin with no password. Yeah, 
yeah that's all guys uh, this is very easy to add the arista image as it doesn't require any uh, license or something that you can you need to purchase it from the arista so hope you guys enjoy watching the video and do uh, subscribe and like and comment button thank you again for watching the video